So you're looking to build a $100,000 sneaker collection? Don't worry, I got you. Make sure you got your pen and pad ready so you can take some notes because we got a lot to go over. I remember back when I was young in high school, just starting my sneaker collection, wanting to take it to a whole nother level and I didn't even know what to do, where to go and how to even start. All I knew was I love sneakers and I wanna have a dope collection one day. So in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a blueprint of all the things that I've learned over the past 15 plus years when it comes to collecting shoes. And if you follow these steps, you'll be able to grow your collection to worth over a hundred thousand dollars way faster than I did oh yeah and if you didn't know by now my name is DJ and this is the DNA show hey! so note number one you're gonna need some money and I know everybody's like you can't build a hundred thousand dollar collection unless you got a hundred thousand dollars you can build a hundred thousand dollar sneaker collection without actually spending a hundred thousand dollars but here's an example on how I would visualize my collection now in current time and something I never thought of doing back when I was younger if you had 667 shoes and each one of those shoes was hundred and fifty dollars in value that would be a hundred thousand dollar sneaker collection and stepping back thinking about that you need almost 700 pairs of shoes just to get a hundred thousand dollar collection that's a lot of shoes it takes up a lot of space next thing you know you're having troubles at your house just trying to figure out where to store the sneakers and you're paying for storage you don't want to do it but at the same time it is a potential option if you want to go the somewhat cheaper route but i think as your collection starts to scale over time and you get better shoes then you'll have those more expensive sneakers that kind of cover that cost and eat into those numbers and quantity when it comes to how many shoes you need to have in your collection to actually hit that $100,000 mark. Now, if you had a bunch of sneakers that were worth, you know, around retail value or a little bit more than retail, somewhere around 250 bucks, say you just got the new Air Jordan 13s that came out and over time they're now $250, 260 bucks, and you got a bunch of those just classic GR sneakers that's coming out each year and you start to stack over the years, you're you're gonna need about 400 pairs of shoes to build a hundred thousand dollar collection off of something like that now if you want to heat your collection up a little bit and add some of those gems in there and have a couple grails now you're looking at somewhere around 200 pairs of shoes and you're gonna say average you know let's say all your shoes are worth about 500 bucks a piece let's say it's the olive travis scott air jordan sixes and some off whites and you got some you know hyped up jordan fours and a couple models that's you know hitting real good and you, you know you got a really solid collection not a bunch of grails but some you know some really good stuff and say every shoe is worth you know around 500 bucks a piece that's what gets you you know 200 pairs of shoes to equal that hundred thousand dollars now collections like that that have around 200 pairs of shoes really really sturdy and have a good value on them like that those are going to be the collections that people have established over years and typically they have more shoes and they slowly start to condense down and have that really refined type of collection they don't just start off like that it doesn't begin that way we'll talk about how to start in a second but i just want to again create a kind of a perspective for you guys on a number to aim after and what type of collection you want to build now next up would be kind of like around that one thousand dollar mark right those are going to be the sneakers that you know hit for a rack and you're gonna be saying, you know, the higher end off whites, the higher end Travis Scott's, the limited releases, the exclusive drops, stuff like that. The things that go for, you know, 1100 bucks, 1200 bucks, 1500 bucks, 800 bucks. Now you only need about 100 pairs of shoes in your collection and you can have that $100,000 collection. So if you wanna go after nothing but more of those higher end grail type sneakers and you're kind of limited on space or you just don't wanna have a gigantic collection of four, five, 600 pairs of shoes in your collection, that's always a good option as well. And you're definitely gonna have a a lot of bangers in there now the last and final one which i see often i know it doesn't sound so realistic at the beginning but i see a lot of collectors that do have collections like this as well you could have you know 15 to 30 pairs of shoes in your collection let's just say 20 pairs of shoes in your collection that's going to be around a five thousand dollar pair of shoes so it's going to be loaded with a lot of higher end off whites pe special edition stuff rare gems college editions you name it samples those are going to be the type of sneakers that you collect which is a whole different type of collection i see a lot of collectors that go after things like that you know they want the diors and louis vuitton collaborations and things like that and they kind of skip out on all the grs and everything they're not really worried about that they just want to go after the you know the rare exclusive gems and they have those in the rotation and they kind of switch shoes out and they're always kind of rocking something really expensive we see a lot of collectors that way as well so that gives you kind of five different tiers of how you could go about you know organize your collection and again for me i have a huge mix of all these kind of categories you guys know me i got pe's and samples and grs and, and basic stuff and classic nostalgic stuff and, and shoes that's not really worth anything at all i got a lot of different gems in the collection but i again have curated my collection towards things that i like 
And again, we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video, but hopefully that helps you get just a little bit of perspective. Now let's take it to the next note and that is gonna be knowledge. And what do I mean by that? You need to learn the ins and outs of the shoe game and understand why do these shoes go up in value? Why do they mean so much to other people? I understand why I like it and again, at the end of the day, buy what you like that's the most important thing because you don't want to build a collection off of sneakers that you don't even like trying to have a hundred thousand dollar collection because you think it's cool because everybody else thinks you're cool no at the end of the day if you if this is a goal of yours or you want to build out a dope collection because for me i love collecting sneakers i love rocking this stuff i love being able to afford to rock these sneakers all those different things these are going to be strategies to help you enjoy the process and get the dope sneakers that you always dream to get at the same time so when you do start Start to understand the game and you realize okay this model's going up in these colors and i do like this one but i'm kind of selective on that one okay cool i'm gonna get you know two or three pairs whenever i have a chance and then i'm gonna sit on that shoe and i'm gonna rock one and then i'm gonna wear one later there's been so many situations where i had a shoe in my collection and i'm like yo i love this shoe i'm getting two or three pairs of them i'm rocking one immediately as soon as i get it and then years down the line i'm ready to pull out a fresh pair and i'm selling the pair that i've been wearing over the past couple years and I'm able to sell that shoe for more than what I got it for originally and the other two shoes when I sit you know I had two sitting on ice those are worth like triple or four times the value and now I've made a really good decision I'm enjoying my sneakers I got a fresh pair on deck waiting for me to rock I can sell the old ones that I had make money off of that and receive a profit cutting into the value of my other ones while I got equity in those shoes you see what I'm saying so definitely making those type of decisions and understanding like hey can I actually get value in this now and later and enjoy the whole process throughout plus make a couple bucks and if you guys really want to learn the nitty gritty ins and outs of the shoe game all the broken down details of every aspect of it I made sure I built a full eight week program teaching you guys every single thing you need to know about the game plus private access to me if you have any questions or access to my community and network of people to help grow your collection or take your shoe game or even real estate game to a whole nother level so if you're interested in that as well, make sure you hit the link down below in the description and get signed up. I would love to see you guys on the inside. And I've helped so many people over the years grow their collections and even businesses start and now scale to a whole nother level. So if that's something you're interested in, the link is down below in the description. Now let's take it to the next note. And that's gonna be relationships. Just like I spoke about joining the community, getting inside, having access to me, different opportunities like that or Facebook groups or going to stores and meeting people. There's so many different options on how you can go about it. But when you build these relationships with people and get into these circles of people that are buying rare exclusive gems and PEs and samples or getting shoes in bulk or getting the latest greatest drop that came out that you couldn't get your hands on before. When you start to get in those circles, it becomes a lot easier because now you have access to more people compared to just going on sneakers app and trying to get the shoes. I know everybody can complain about it, but we live in 2023 right now. We have the internet. There are so many options, so many people you can meet. To me, there's no excuses. I know back then, even when I started way back in the day, we still had the internet then and I was meeting people on Nike Talk and ISS and I saw so many different people and collectors on 23 is back. And during that time, I was still building my network and my relationships, even with people on Facebook Marketplace and on, at the time, Craigslist before OfferUp was even a thing. There, you get what I'm saying, right? Don't let that be an excuse. Don't let that be a crutch take advantage of the internet go out and find these places where you can build these relationships whether it's going to your next sneaker con or even flying to a sneaker con just to meet people whatever it takes to build your network and take your game to the next level you got to put in that work and for those that don't know over here i'm a firm believer of putting in that work i believe in working very very smart but at the same time, we still gotta work hard. So if you think everything is handed to you and it's gonna be easy, I don't play that over here. We gotta put that work in. I'm gonna give you all the tools and steps that you need, but at the same time, don't think that, oh yeah, just because I got, no. You still gotta put that work in. So always remember that. Everybody these days is looking for a handout in the comment section. Can you give me a free shoot? Nah, go get to work, go earn that. And that brings me to my next note right here, and that is hustle. Exactly why I built my program called the Hobby to Hustle program. My hobby was sneak my hustle was flipping kicks growing my collection and I was like you know what this kind of makes sense and then I realized like bruh 
I be hustling all the time to get these shoes. I'm staying up late looking for deals. I'm going to here, there, and everywhere just to try to meet up with people to do deals. And I'm trying to build relationships by DMing people on Instagram and Twitter and this and that and the other. You got to do that work. You have to put that grind in and take all those steps. And again, I have some notes for you guys in the description right here of a kind of brief of everything that we're going over. So if you need to go back and look at this, if you may have missed something, check out the notes in the description of the video. And again, if you want to get into the program, I have every single thing in there with full tutorial breakdowns from how to package a box properly to making labels to building your collection display and how to save money on little things and how to cut costs. Trust me, it's all on the inside. Either way, let's keep going with this list. So still on the topic of hustle, you have to go out and really get engaged with these Instagram people and these Twitter people and these TikTokers and all the different people that are resellers and everything. Find those trusted resellers, build those relationships, go out, do some deals with them. You know, say, hey, you may not get the best deal on the first deal, but understand you're building a relationship. If you keep buying from a new person every time and you just go to the next person, you're not going to build those relationships. It's better to buy from a few different people, build those relationships, start getting the better deal. They'll start showing you more love. They'll start giving you more discounts. Those type of things are really, really important when it comes to this game. And it's a part of the hustle and understanding, hey, sometimes you can't win them all at the beginning, but know that I'm going to build this relationship and later I'm going to get a lot of really good deals. And it's not like you're doing this to take advantage of somebody and be conniving or anything like that. It's just more of like, Build the relationships, have that thing. Whenever you have the opportunity to help that reseller or you know send the, another client to them or whatever it is, always lend that helping hand because you never know. You may help another person get some shoes from a reseller that you know, and you may not have even done a deal with them yet, but then you put that group text together and now they rock with you because you helped them make a sale. And the next thing you know, you try to find something and they show you some love. So you see what I'm saying? All that is a part of the hustle. And again, part of the relationship building process as well. I think it's kind of all coincide with each other, but that's just another example of why and how you can do a couple things. So next up on the list right here is gonna be, it takes time. Please write this out big and bold, underline it, write it again, one more time, write it again. Okay, I'll let you guys write it down. You wrote it? Okay, good. So this right here, it takes time. First off, don't measure your success or growth or anything like that to somebody else. Stay in your lane. Understand that we all get it differently. We all have different avenues. We all have different ways that we go about doing this. And at the end of the day, this is not a competition. I am not in competition with anybody on this platform when it comes to who's got the best collection and da 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 da. It doesn't matter. I'm building my collection for me. I've been doing this way before social media. I've been loving sneakers and collecting sneakers way before social media was even a thing. I decided to do this because I wanted to share my knowledge, my stories, and my passion of sneakers with you guys. So please understand that and know you need to do the same exact thing. If you have a true passion for this, you're not looking for the clout, you don't care about all that stuff, that's what it's about. And if you, again, you wanna build an audience later and do all that stuff, great, build an audience, do that, have fun, create social media stuff as, as you build your collection, do that. That's all fun to do as well. But understand, at the end of the day, do it because you're buying what you like, you're building the collection that you like, because if anything, right, say for example, all the shoes go down in value. Well now, are you gonna be stuck on a bunch of shoes that you hate? We're gonna say, hey, I still love all these shoes. I had a great time. I enjoyed the process of collecting these shoes. Now again, I, like I said, I feel like there's a lot of chances where you're not gonna have your whole shoe collection go down in value just because, like I said, I've been in this game for almost 20 years and I haven't seen that happen to anybody. Yeah, you have shoes fall apart and a couple things happen over the years. Some might go up, some might go down, but I've never seen somebody's collection just go to zero. I've always seen people being able to cash out when they decide to exit the shoe game and no longer be a collector because sometimes, yeah, you may get bored. 10 years down the line, you're like, bro, I didn't collect all the shoes. I've had everything that I wanted. I've worn all the stuff that I want. I'm growing now, I'm becoming an adult. I wanna buy a house, whatever it is. You might be in that situation. And this is where my next point is. This is not only to help you build a dope collection, especially for my younger viewers that are watching these videos, but now you're also setting yourself up with a nest egg of a collection of sneakers that you could get back if you really needed to. And if you really wanted to, you could take that collection, 100 bands, Come on now, we're talking about a good down payment on a property. Now obviously, yeah, you need to take care of, make sure you're paying taxes, you got a good you know, income based off your business or your W-2s or whatever you got going on. But with that aside, 
now having down payment money, you can use this as an asset as well. So I think about it that way. You could buy, let's say you get you hit on the Travis Scott's, whatever, the new Travis Scott threes that come out. I'm just making something up, right? Let's say you hit on the Travis Scott threes and retails 220 bucks and the shoe goes for $1,000. This is how you grow your collection quick. If you hit on a couple of those shoes and you got this and that the other, you might be all in on your collection, $35,000, but the actual value is $62,000. And you're like, damn, that's almost double of what I actually put cash into this or trades or deals that I have done over the years. And you're like, man, I could do this. I could scale it. I can do that. So like I said, we want to make smart decisions as we purchase these shoes and always keep inventory of the sneakers as we're going and make sure that we're counting every single dollar that goes in and out as we build our collection. Because I know, I know it's not about the money and all the stuff. I get that. But later down the line, it's always fun to know, hey, yeah, I built this collection. I worked hard for this and I have this dope collection on my hands. But at the same time, you know, I'm, I'm $45,000 in and it's worth $112,000. Now you're like, well, maybe, you know, I could liquidate a couple things, use that for a down payment, keep half the collection, still have all my dope favorite sneakers that I've built. You know, I don't know if you want to say relationships with the shoes with, but, you know, got the most memories with. And now you're getting rid of some of the fluff in your collection, because, again, that happens to a lot of collectors. I'm just trying to, you know, open your mind to different ideas and concepts of how people go about doing this and how they build their collections and structure it and all those different processes. Now. Like I said, you could say, hey, how do you hit on this app for retail? I have plenty of videos about that and how to cop from consignment shops and others, different details on those. But this is really a blueprint with a lot of gems in there. And I don't know, maybe you may not think it wasn't valuable at all. I hope it was. But I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions, let me know down below in the comment section. Hopefully I can give you guys some more videos or refer you to some videos that I've made in the past. And again, I have a full in-depth program that teaches you everything with private access to me, monthly live meetups, and we go over all the ins and outs and any questions you may have, I'll always try to answer them for you. Whether it's helping you start your own business, get a real estate loan, build your collection, get your grail sneaker, whatever you need help with, I'll always try to help however I can. Appreciate you guys as always. See you in another one. I'm out. I would never let you down and send my DNA hey, hey, The bro. only choice I like to make what I'm aware it's today one of those. One I would never let you down and send my DNA one The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it